The truck in this problem is cruising along at a constant speed. V sub t, velocity of the truck, is 20 meters per second, and it has no acceleration, so a sub t is zero. It passes a car at rest initially, so v sub c, the velocity of the car, at time zero, is zero. The car accelerates at 2.80 meters per second squared. Let's set x equals zero, the origin here, so that all of the displacements, delta x, which equal the final minus initial positions, just equal the position x. We're asked to find in part a the time required for the car to catch up to the truck. We'll do that by requiring that the car and the truck are at the same position. So position of the car equals position of the truck. We can now write a kinematic equation for each vehicle. For the car, we have position of the car equals the initial velocity times time plus half a t squared. The initial velocity is zero. Writing the same equation for the truck, we get this with the acceleration equal to zero. And the car catches the truck when those two positions are equal, when they're at the same place at the same time. Setting those two equations equal gives us this we can cancel one of the times, t, because we're not interested in the solution when t equals zero, and solve for the time t. It equals the velocity of the truck divided by half the car's acceleration. Rearrange, and substitute the known values to find that the car catches the truck after 14.3 seconds. A graphical illustration of the solution is here. The car accelerates, so its path is a parabola, and the truck moves at a constant velocity, so its path is a straight line on a position time curve. There are two times when these vehicles are at the same place. One is t equals zero, that's the solution we're not interested in, and the other is this one here, when t equals 14.3 seconds. Part B asks us for the distance the car has traveled by the time it catches up to the truck. We can find this using the equation of the car's position and substituting the time that we just found. And that result gives us 286 meters. Part C asks for the car's speed when it catches up to the truck. And now we can use the time-dependent velocity kinematic equation. The initial velocity is zero for the car. We substitute the acceleration and the time to find it equals 40 meters per second. When the car catches up to the truck, the car is moving twice as fast as the truck is.